हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड डियर गार्जियंस आई एम स्मिता सिंह एंड आज हम लोग अपने नेक्स्ट बैच का सेकेंड यूनिट स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं जिसमें हम चैप्टर वन लेंगे एंड दैट इज ऑल अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन एंड डायटिक्स चैप्टर वन है वो है आपका फूड ग्रुप्स एंड उसको जानने से पहले यू शुड नो अबाउट वॉट इज बैलेंस डाइट सो बैलेंस डाइट इज वॉट इट इज अ डाइट विच प्रोवाइड्स ऑल द न्यूट्रिय इन रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट एंड प्रॉपर प्रपोर्शन आपको सबको पता है वॉट आर द न्यूट्रिय विच आर अवेलेबल इन द डाइट एंड विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर हेल्थ दैट इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट विटमिनस एंड मिनरल्स दीज ऑल द न्यूट्रिय शुड बी इन रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट दैट अमाउंट विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर योर बॉडी फॉर योर एज फॉर योर सेक्स एंड फॉर योर फिजोलॉजिकल कंडीशन एंड इट शुड बी इन अ प्रॉपर प्रपोर्शन so you should know about the balanced diet okay then we can go with what are the carbohydrates what are the nutrients which you should know about it so carbohydrates is balanced diet mein you should be having at least 45 to 55% and this carbohydrates is why it is important because it gives you energy energy to do work any work all the works which have to be done by your body needs an energy and this energy is given by mostly by the carbohydrates what are the uh, carbohydrate producing food groups yeah foods these are the grains all the types of grains like wheat maize corns millets oats rice everything and it also been giving us that these carbs uh, whatever you are eating let's just think of that whatever you are eating from the food they have almost 40 to 45% of carbohydrates even if you are taking uh, fish also if you are taking any of the vegetables also any of the fruits they have more of carbohydrates and if they are you are to, you are taking protein rich diets then also they have almost 40% of carbohydrates so you can think of that the carbohydrates should be taken up with all these food groups next nutrient is the proteins and this is almost it should be in your diet should be at least at least 10 to 35% what these proteins do proteins help to give you a tissue growth and development and also it maintains the tissue health okay so proteins are important and what are the foods which have proteins they are all the meat all the milk products all the nuts all the uh, pulses it can be soya bean or any of the pulses which you can eat it they all have proteins the third nutrient is fat now the in the balanced diet the fat should contain at least 20 to 35% okay so 20 to 35% of the calories should be taken up from the fat this is the basically the amount of proportion of nutrients should be there in the balanced diet what this fat gives you the fat gives you energy it also gives me give you so much of energy that you can store it there are so many hormones which are required uh, which are produced and they require fats for the production so fat should be taken care of apart from that there are very various fat soluble vitamins which have to be absorbed in the form of uh, with the presence of fat so fat is important what are the food ingredients which you give get fats from you can get it from the nuts you can get it from the seed or plant oils dairy products it can be milk cheese any form whatever the these are the uh, sources which you can get it from fat from next nutrient which is fiber it is actually a dietary fiber which comes from the carbohydrate and it is a complex carbohydrate but we used to take it in a separate amount and it also has to be taken care in your diet the balanced diet right so fiber should be there why we want to take the fibers because it helps to regulate your blood sugars it gives you a good bowel function and also helps in your bowel health so dietary fiber should be included in the balanced diet too what are the food sources which gives you fiber they can be peas beans vegetables fruits all the whole grains all the uh, food ingredients which have fibers they contain they can get it from uh, they you can get the fibers from them 
Next nutrients is vitamins and minerals. Now these are the vit uh, vitamin and minerals nutrient which are taken care of to be taken in very small amounts. So these nutrients are also called as micronutrients. Okay, so that does it doesn't have doesn't give you calories. So it can be taken in a good amount, but uh, your body needs in a very small quantity, which is actually not a, even you just think of that. अगर ये बहुत ही कम quantity में ज़रूरत होती हैं, but you are not able to take it that much also. So most of the deficiencies occurs with the deficiency of vitamins and minerals. You won't be seeing many of the people with having deficiency of carbohydrates or deficiency of fat, but you can see most of the people have the deficiency of vitamins and minerals, which are the micronutrients, right? Why they are important? Because it helps in metabolism regulation. It also aids in cell growth, and many of the biochemical functions need these vitamins and minerals. So you have to take care of them also. Next thing is the why where you get it from this vitamins and sources so what are the sources of vitamins and minerals so you can get it from all the vegetables all the fruits and most of the grains also have these vitamins and minerals also the last nutrient i would say it nutrient most of the people don't say this this nutrient as a nutrient because it is water water doesn't give you any calories but it is very very important in your diet so to maintain your hydration okay almost 70 to 60 to 70% of your body functions work with uh, water presence and if your diet doesn't have the water content there are very well you very much will have the dehydration and the cells will start breaking and it will can die also so you will see have uh, a balanced diet is what balanced diet should have these types of nutrients like carbohydrates proteins and fat and that too in a definite proportion that is carbohydrate should be 45 to 55% then protein should be 10 to 35% fat should be 10 to 20 to 35% of uh, calories and vitamins and minerals apart from that vitamins and minerals you can control add on fibers and fat, uh, water so these are the ingredients which is need to be taken care of to have a balanced diet right so balanced diet depends on the requirement and it varies with the age gender physiological status and physical activity okay so it depends on that way till then be safe study well because unless until you study well you won't able to complete any of the examination bye